Welcome to Teen Mental Health Society's YouTube channel. We are a global, youth-led, nonprofit organization that works to reduce the stigma attached to mental health through education, advocacy, and media. Welcome back. Today, we embark on an exploratory journey that unravels the intricate connection between bipolar disorder and literary genius. Join us as we delve into the lives of renowned writers, exploring how their struggles with mental health have shaped their remarkable creativity. This is Writers on the Edge, the link between bipolar disorder and literary genius, brought to you by Teen Mental Health Society. Throughout history, the correlation between bipolar disorder, also known as manic depression, and exceptional literary talent becomes apparent. From the ancient poets to modern novelists, these literary giants have left an indelible mark on the world, while simultaneously grappling with their own mental health challenges. Let's embark on this captivating exploration together. Wanting to die. Since you ask, most days I cannot remember. I walk in my clothing, unmarked by that voyage. Then the almost unnameable lust returns. Even then I have nothing against life. I know well the grass blades you mention, the furniture you have placed under the sun. But suicides have a special language. Like carpenters, they want to know which tools. They never ask why build. Twice I have so simply declared myself, have possessed the enemy, eaten the enemy, have taken on his craft, his magic. In this Ernie way... commences in ancient times, where we uncover evidence of bipolar disorder in renowned poets such as Homer, the mastermind behind the epic poem The Odyssey, and Virgil, the gifted author of the famous Aeneid. Despite their roller coaster like mood swings, these poets crafted timeless works that continue to captivate readers across the ages. Fast forward to the Romantic era, where we encounter the likes of Lord Byron and Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Both these poets were celebrated for their passionate verses and vivid imagination. However, they also battled the intense highs and lows associated with bipolar disorder. These tumultuous experiences deeply influenced their writing, infusing it with raw emotion and a profound sense of self-reflection. As we journey into the modern era, we encounter notable authors such as Virginia Woolf and Ernest Hemingway. These literary icons grappled with bipolar disorder, often experiencing periods of heightened creativity followed by crippling bouts of depression. Yet their personal struggles did not hinder their ability to create powerful works. Wolfe's groundbreaking novels like Mrs. Dalloway and Hemingway's enduring classics, such as The Old Man and the Sea, bear witness to their tremendous talent. So what does the correlation between bipolar disorder and literary genius reveal about the creative process and mental health? As ardent advocates for teen mental health, it is crucial to recognize that the experiences of these writers are not isolated. Many creative individuals grapple with mental health challenges, and their works serve as beacons of solace, inspiration, and a sense of belonging for those who resonate with their struggles. Bipolar disorder is characterized by two distinct phases, the manic phase and the depressive phase. During the manic phase, individuals may experience heightened energy levels, intense excitement, and a decreased need for sleep. Some common signs to look out for include elevated mood, a person may exhibit an unusually high or irritable mood that lasts for an extended period, often accompanied by increased self-confidence or grandiosity. Increased activity and restlessness. They may engage in excessive goal-directed activities, such as taking on multiple projects simultaneously or talking excessively. Racing thoughts. Their mind may race with numerous thoughts, making it difficult to concentrate or stay focused on one topic. Impulsivity and risk-taking behavior. They might engage in impulsive actions with little consideration of the consequences, such as excessive spending, reckless driving, or engaging in risky sexual behavior. In the depressive phase of bipolar disorder, individuals may experience feelings of extreme sadness, hopelessness, and a loss of interest in activities they once enjoyed. Here are some common signs to be aware of. Persistent sadness. A person may experience deep feelings of sadness or emptiness that persist for a prolonged period. Loss of energy. They might feel fatigued, lethargic, or lack the motivation to engage in daily activities. Changes in appetite and sleep patterns. Significant changes in appetite, resulting in weight loss or gain, 
as well as disrupted sleep patterns, such as insomnia or excessive sleeping. Difficulty concentrating. They may have trouble focusing, making decisions or remembering things. Thoughts of self-harm or suicide. In severe cases, individuals with bipolar disorder may have recurrent thoughts of self-harm or suicide. If you or someone you know is experiencing this, it is essential to seek professional help immediately.